The key to any good repair job is in the preparation. And what we've got here is this over sailing course, which has had some inappropriate cement mortar at some point. It's all weathered away. And we've just got this ledge, which is all exposed. The rain could get in and run back. So what we're gonna do is put a mortar fillet on here. We're gonna flaunch it. And just to prepare it, if it's, if it's loose, I'm gonna take it off. This could probably stay here because it's thin enough. I think I can get quite a substantial amount of mortar on this. So if I just give it a good clean, so it has a, just take the dust and the dirt from this and take that loose piece away. If I remove all this, then it will give it a good key for the lime mortar. So first thing I need to do before we point this, just wet this down. What this does, it, it just controls the suction because it's really dry at the moment and when I put the mortar on top, if it's dry, it really pull the moisture out too quickly. What we're gonna do is trail it on at an angle and we're gonna go all the way along. As you can see, it's, it's very sticky, so it's gonna have really good adhesion. Now the main thing is, I've got mortar on there, so I just need it to just cure just a little bit because it's, it's, it's quite damp, it's quite wet at the moment, I need it to tighten up a bit. On a day like today, it's a really sunny, really hot day actually, so um, it's not ideal conditions. Looking after it is very important, so we need to keep it moist um, and give it time to cure. We have another section here on the over sailing course where the, the flaunching is missing on this section. So this is gonna to need to be replaced. This cement mortar here, it's, it's really solid. It's very hard, so we're gonna leave this. But it's very important to put the mortar back because this is gonna shed the rainwater and it's gonna throw it clear of the stack, which is the whole point of having this detail. To stop the lime mortar staining the brickwork, you have to be very careful and if you do where you you've got some uh, brick or tile like this which is not very absorbent you can dip a brush in water and if you take it along the edge it will take any staining off if it's on brickwork you can always use a very gentle wire brush and take any staining off this way so I've left this mortar flaunching, it's probably been about uh, just over an hour. Sometimes the term people use is leather hard, so it's, it's quite firm, but you can just about make an impression in the mortar. I'm just gonna smooth it over with this wood float. With lime, you do sometimes get some shrinkage and you get these fine cracks, but that's fine. You can just, you can just work it in and just smooth them over. But it is important we protect it from the, the sun once we've done this. And then just make sure I'll press it down firm against the brickwork, because that does tend to want to shrink and crack sometimes. Just brush the loose bits off, and then just to tidy up the edge, got some water and brush. edge along the brickwork so it gives it a, a bit more of a seal now the tending of lime is just as important as the application and what we've done here so looking after it's very important if this dries too quickly it's just going to shrink it'll, it'll come away from the, the surface and uh, you lose all the strength it needs the time to cure so uh, what we need to do with this is probably give it a a very quick spray, a bit of moisture, cover it with uh, some hessian, so that will stop the, the drying wind, that will stop the, the sun on it, and then after that we'll need to probably uh, spray it, maybe um, this temperature, we'll probably, maybe every half hour, I think in this condition, uh, but you do need to keep checking on it through the day, uh, keep wetting down the hessian, uh, and then tomorrow, 
we'll need to keep wetting it down, uh, keeping in the moisture, because this is going to take this is going to take quite a few days to to really cure. And if it gets to that the stage that we were talking about, that leather hard stage, and you're worried about the weather and it looks like it's going to rain, uh, quite heavy rain, then I'd probably uh, would, would do the hessian and then maybe a, a tarp piece of polythene over the top to protect it because it, it, it will wash away and it will stain stain all the brickwork as the lime runs all, all the way down.